a team of astronomers, including Carnegie's Benjamin Shappy, Nydia Morrill, and Ian Thompson, has discovered the most luminous supernova ever observed, called Ozus SN15LH. Their findings are published in Science. Supernovae are violent stellar explosions and some of the brightest objects in the universe. Human records noting their existence date back nearly 2,000 years. Within the past two decades a rare new category of superluminous supernovae have been discovered, which shine 100 to 1,000 times brighter than the more common supernovae. It has been theorized that these superluminous supernovae are powered by so-called magnetors, neutron stars with extremely powerful magnetic fields, with the magnetism providing the engine for the immense luminosity. According to this theory, the magnetic field spin magnifies the energy of the explosion, increasing the luminosity. As counterintuitive as it may sound, superluminous supernovae are difficult for astronomers to spot. This is because they are rare and tend to form in low luminosity galaxies with vigorous star formation, whereas the sky surveys that have been traditionally used to locate supernovae target bright galaxies with low rates of star formation. What's more, they determined that the galaxy where Ozus SN15LH formed is very atypical for a superluminous supernova, which raises questions about how these types of supernovae form. Its host galaxy isn't the typical low-luminosity, star-forming galaxy where previous superluminous supernovae have been spotted. Ozus SN15LHS galaxy is, in fact, more luminous than our own Milky Way. The astounding amount of energy released by the supernova strains the magnetor formation theory, Shappy explained. More work will be necessary to understand this extraordinary object's power source and whether there are other similar supernovae out there in the universe.